We're live on air and streaming on CBS News Miami. Good evening. I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Now at 11, a car fire turns into a brush fire and it closes off a part of US 1. We're live on the scene. How dangerous is one South Florida road? Well, one house just over my shoulder behind me has had cars crash into it more than 10 times. And some residents say they fear for their lives. I'm meteorologist Dave Warren. Get ready for the storms. They'll be developing here ahead of this front, which will slow down and create a gusty breeze in its wake. What that means for the weekend is coming up with the forecast. This is CBS 4 News tonight. He drives over to the Hollywood Fire Department. Uh, I assume that's where he went, and he just bangs on the door, and eventually they, they get out here. He says he woke them up. A neighbor recounts today a Hollywood resident's calls to 911 went unanswered as her home was burning down. As you just heard right there, another neighbor had to physically go to the fire department to get them to come to the home. It all stems from a severe shortage of 911 dispatchers in Broward County. We're also told not only are current operators overworked, they're also underpaid. CBS 4's Joel Waldman joins us live now from Hollywood with more on that story. Joel? Lauren and Elliot, good evening to you. This is all that remains of that home that was engulfed in flames here in Hollywood two weeks ago. Now that's bad enough, but imagine you call for help and no one answers. This snap, crackle, and pop of this house fire two weeks ago left neighbors in Hollywood in disbelief. Just a huge orange fireball. But Nicholas uh, Carride's disbelief wasn't that the fire left an elderly woman homeless. It was about what happened when he and others called for help. They never heard these comforting words. 911, what is the address of your emergency? One person was on the phone trying to get a hold of the fire department, and then I figured maybe he just has bad connection because he said he was on the phone for 15 minutes already. When Nicholas didn't get an answer either, he tried calling 911 himself. This Marine knew something was wrong, and he and other neighbors took matters into their own hands. Uh, 15 minutes later, I got a call back from the fire department, but by then, someone had already drove over, banged on their door. A super delayed 911 response is something Broward County recently warned about in its own promotional video. We might have a delayed response with answering your call, but we are going to answer the call. Sheriff Gregory Tony now answering the call of concerned Broward County commissioners, offering up a harsh reality. This will always be a problem here, whether we want to admit it or not. Short roughly 90 911 call takers, the sheriff admitting his office has a serious recruitment and retention crisis. He was given an immediate solution from some commissioners. You won't lose anybody if you give everybody a raise. Give everybody a raise. Give everybody the raise the same as Palm Beach. And you won't lose anybody if that's the issue. But it definitely should be high up on the priority. You know, that's that's one of the only reasons that, that governments originally form, right, is to keep people safe. That is true. Now, the sheriff says that he's not going to make any random or quick decisions, as he put it, that could create other problems. He says he's going to bring some budget numbers and ideas to the next Broward Commission meeting on May 10th. Reporting live in Hollywood, Joel Wallman, CBS 4 News Tonight. Joel, thanks a lot. And right now, 297 people are responsible for staffing the phones and fire and police radios. Again, about 90 short of what is needed, according to the Sun Sentinel, which broke the story.